I was just curious to find out what happens if I shoot a stack of books with uh, some different calibers. So we're going to do a couple of calibers today, and here's the setup. So first I'm going to set my sights on this target, and then I'm going to shoot this. I'm assuming that I don't have anything powerful enough to go through all these books. Let's go check out the calibers we're going to shoot today. Today we're going to compare a 7mm Magnum and a 243 Winchester. The 7mm Magnum is a 150 grain ballistic silver tip Winchester. The 243 is Federal 100 grain soft point. That's the 243 and the 7mm Magnum. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, top, top left. Hard to tell. Uh, oh, I see it. Right side. Two inches from the center. All right. Dead center. Okay. Two inches diagonal from the from the other one. Okay. That's the 243 Winchester. And then for the seven millimeter Magnum, I was aiming high and to the left. So perfect. They're both set properly. So this is the seven millimeter. This is the 243. Now, I don't think Neither one of them went all the way through. Be interesting to see how far they each went. So let's cut this open and check it out. First of all, let's see if it went through the first book. Huh, check this out. There we go. Okay, wow. so here's the first book. That's the 243. And this is the seven millimeter Magnum. Now this is a book. Imagine what it would do to your flesh. Dang. Yeah. All right. And notice how these things expand as they go through. I mean, that shock. Okay, so the, the bullet expands, but the shock wave also expands from this tiny point right here. The shock wave goes out and expands. And so the damage that is done to the material or your flesh is a lot larger than just the penetration of the bullet. You know, if the bullet expands, it's going to do more damage, but it 
it shocks all the flesh that it hits and that shock wave propagates through the flesh and causes a lot of bruising and bleeding and I mean it's a mess. You don't want to get shot with one of these. I mean I can't think of a whole lot of guns that I would want to be shot with but these seem to be pretty bad. High powered rifle and these are totally legal as far as I know they're legal in all states. Civilian rifles, civilian caliber, far more powerful than a 5.56 or 223, which we will demonstrate in another video. Okay, look at that. Went through a second book and penetrated the third one. So let's check out the third one. Well, that's two. That's two. Uh huh. Oh, see that. the The cover of this book was stuck inside the cover of that one. Look at that. All right, that's that's the bullet. That's the seven millimeter Magnum bullet. I don't know if you can tell from the way the light is, but let me let me angle it like this so it makes a shadow, and you should be able to see a bump right there. Okay, my fingertip is right on the crest of that bump, mm -hmm. and that's where the 243 stopped. Let's open it up and see where that 243 stopped. See, it went in right here. This is the 243. And then it stopped somewhere inside this book. Let's see how many pages it penetrated. <laughs> Still going. All right, it's still breaking right here. I got my finger on the bullet. Here we go. What's left of it. There you go. That lead practically liquefies when it hits. Look, it even put a dent, like a divot, in this book. The 243. Dented. Mm -hmm. This book. All right, let's find that seven magnum. Okay, it's it's actually it's bound in the cover. Look how many pages were damaged, like actually cut, all the way to page two thirty-five. So the last page in the book is three sixty-seven. So about a hundred and thirty-two pages. This bullet damaged the pages through 132 pages of it, even though the bullet was w stuck back here. And then page 234 is the first one that is not cut or torn. All right, let's get that bullet out. Again, what's left of it? I mean, I should weigh these and see how much is left, because in fact, let's do that. We'll go back in the house and I'll weigh these bullets. It surprises me that there's not more difference between the 7 Magnum and the 243. Like I thought it would be, you know, not just a little different. I thought it would be dramatically different. Like the 7 would penetrate much, much more than the 243. Maybe twice as far. And instead, it's just a few pages. I mean, clearly the damage done is, is greater with the seven. That's a bigger hole. That's a bigger shock wave around the bullet, a bigger bruise, and it does go deeper. So, you know, I suppose it's a big difference, but it's just less than what I thought it was gonna be.